Hey guys, over here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 3 Lesson 2 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, a rectangular pool is 7 feet wide. It is 3 times as long as it is wide. Label the diagram with the dimensions of the pool. Alright, so let's start. It's 7 feet wide and it's 3 times as long as it is wide. So 7, 7, 7 and times 3, so that's 1, 2, 3, since it is 3 times as long. So 7 times 3 is 21, which means this side of the pool would be 21 feet. So this is our dimensions, 21 and 7. We can write 21 down here too. Now let's find the perimeter of the pool. So we know, we know that perimeter, P for perimeter, equals 2 times the length, okay, length plus width. So in this case, our perimeter equals 2 times 7 plus 21. So then that means um, our perimeter equals 2 times 7 plus 21 is 28. 2 times 28. So then perimeter equals 28 times 2 would be 56. So our perimeter is 56, so we can go ahead and box that. Alright, and number two, a poster is three inches long, it's four times as wide as it is long. Draw a diagram of the poster and label its dimensions. Alright, so it's three inches long, and it's four times as wide as it is long. So then it's... Three, 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 because it's four times as wide. So that means 3 times 4 is 12, so then for this side of the poster is 12, like, inches. You can also write it down here, 12 inches. So this is the dimensions, 3 by 12. Now find the, find the perimeter and the area of the poster. Our side perimeter, P equals 2 times length plus width. Alright, so perimeter equals... 2 times um, 3 plus 12. So then it's 2 times 15. So the perimeter equals 30. Okay. Um, yeah. And now it says to find the area 2. Well, the area is equal to length times width. So in this case, our area would be 3 times 12, and we know 3 times 13 is 33, so then plus 3 would be 3 times 12. So then our area equals 36. We can go ahead and box the perimeter in our area. Alright, next page. Number 3. The area of a rectangle is 36 square centimeters, and its length is 9 centimeters. What is the width of the rectangle? Alright, so... Our rectangle so the area is 36 centimeters and the length is 9 so we want to find out what is the width well we know area equals length in our case yeah length times width so in this case our area equals 9 times width and our area is 36 equals 9 times width so then that means our width would be 4, because there's 9 times 4 is 36, so width is 4. And B says also wants to draw a second rectangle that is the same length but 3 times as wide. Draw and label Elsa's second um, rectangle. Alright, so it's the same length and everything, 9 over here. Um, but it's three times as wide, so then that's one, two, and three. And up here was four, four and four, because we found the width was four. So it's three times as wide, which means this side, four times three is 12, so this side would now be 12. So now our second rectangle would be nine by 12. So what's the perimeter? Well, perimeter equals two times um, length plus width. So here our perimeter equals 2 times 9 
plus 12. And 9 plus 12 is 21. So then pyramid equals 2 times 21, which is 42. So then our perimeter of the second rectangle will be 42. All right, and number four. The area of Nathan's bedroom rug is 15 square feet. Um, the longer side measures five feet. His living room mug, rug is twice as long and twice as wide as the bedroom rug. Um, drawn label, a diagram of Nathan's bedroom rug. What is its perimeter? So bedroom rug. All right, so the area is, I think let's try it this way. The area we already know is 15 and the longer side is five feet. So we find out, we wanna find out like the width of the rug. So what is the other measurement? Well, first of all, perimeter. So our perimeter will be two times length plus width. So perimeter equals two times five plus W. Our perimeter in this case is 15, or not 15. The area is 15, so we want to look for... Wait, okay, this is the perimeter. Let's find the area first. Area equals length times width. So here our area is 15. I can write that in. So our area is 15 equals 5 times width. So then our width equals 3. So now to find our perimeter, perimeter equals two times five plus width is three, equals two times eight, so then perimeter equals 16. All right, and now that was the bedroom rug, but now we wanna find the living room rug. So the living room rug is twice as long and twice as wide. All right, let's see. So this is our original five and three. And it's twice as um, wide. So it's like that now. And it's also twice as long. So then it's like that. So that's the new one. And now I want to find the new perimeter. Well, now this side becomes six. And this side becomes five plus five is 10. So now it's 10 by 6. Perim perimeter equals 2 times length plus width equals 2 times 10 plus 6. So now our perimeter equals 2 times. Oh, 16. Perimeter equals 32. All right. So now C says, what is the relationship between the two perimeters? Well, we went from 32 to 16. So since we doubled the length and the width, the perimeter also doubled in size. And D says find the area of the living room rug using the formula area equals length times width. Well, area equals our length 10 times six. So then our area 10 times six would just be 60. So then our area of the living room rug would be 60. So yeah. All right. Um, e, the living room rug has an area that is how many times that of the bedroom rug? Alright, well, the living room rug um, was 60. So then, um, and the bedroom rug, we didn't have to solve that, it already gave us. The bedroom rug is 15 square feet. So we go back to this page. The bedroom rug had an area of 15 and it was like five by three. But then the uh, living room rug was 60. 
because then it was because it was like quadrupled kind of so it went from that to that so it was four times greater so it is four times greater and the thing you know is like each of these there's four of these in this whole thing like one two three and four so multiply by four basically and F says, compare how the perimeter changed with how the area changed between the two rugs. So we notice using words, pictures, or numbers. Well, the perimeter change. So for our first one, the um, bedroom rug, our perimeter was 16. And then our area was um, 15. But then the living room rug, our perimeter, actually it was 10 by 6. So our perimeter was 32 and our area was 60. So what we notice is that the perimeter doubled and the area didn't double, it kind of quadrupled. So yeah, that's what happened. The so area went like times four, and then the perimeter, because like it doubled in length and width, so our perimeter doubled itself. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps, and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.